What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day for me because it's that time of year where we start waking the garden up and getting ready for the 2024 season. So today I'm getting Hank to get the tiller out and this is the wildflower zinnia field. It's been a few things um, behind me here, but we are going to get it cleaned up, till it under so I can begin planting for um, the, the next season. And our next big event coming up here on the farm is our annual farm tour. Y'all, this is the third year, third annual flower farm tour. If you don't know what that is, you can visit the website blackbarnblossoms.com and you can see all about it. But it's a free event that we put on. Um, we are the host and we have another local flower farm within like 20 minutes of us that participates in that flower farm tour with us and it is actually a day lily farm so they grow uh you know different flowers than we grow here but it just gives the public a day to come tour the gardens we have food trucks we have workshops going on all day this year we've got a beekeeper that's going to come and teach on beekeeping so um, i usually teach a workshop on like growing dahlias 101 maggie teaches a workshop on soil blocking so it's just a fun fun day so if you're seeing this video before memorial day weekend in 2024 then if you you're within driving distance, make a point to come out and see us that day. So with that being said, um, we've got 75 days until the flower farm tour. So we got to get this field cleaned up and um, get it ready so Hank can come till it. As you can see here, I just let left everything. This is just traces of zinnias that were out here we just leave it and drops all the seeds so when he tills this there's going to be so many zinnias and cosmos that pop up just you know reseeded from last year uh, i actually had sunflowers planted out here so who knows those might you know reseed themselves too but uh, also i will be adding more seeds once we get it tilled and cleaned up now, I don't know how long you've been watching the channel, but if you remember last year, I tried something new because we always had a problem with water running off that hill and trenching down through here. So last year, I made made the flowers, uh, the beds or rows, whatever, go kind of like at a, a curve and I had like little berms. You can kind of see, it's hard to see 3D on video, but you can see I had like little berms built up and it worked great i mean you don't see any trenches and we've had some really super hard rain so i will do that again after he gets it all tilled up i'll make the little berms i think uh the proper term would be contour gardening <laughs> so i had several along here where i would you know skip 20 feet and make another contour so it would kind of slow the water down and it absolutely worked perfectly so We'll get that um, all taken care of and fixed back after we get the tiller in here and we're ready to plant. We've had quite a few uh, storms this past year and even early this year so far that has thrown limbs out of all these oak trees. And so I've got, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do before we get, it, get ready to till. So I've got um, just a pile of limbs over here started. And I hear him hooking up the tractor now, so we'll get it cleaned. Okay, we got it cleaned up, and he's down here with the tiller. And I've kind of showed him where the boundaries are on the sides, where we don't want to till, like the walkway and such. And I think, um, I think he is ready to go. I can tell it's going to be dusty already.
smell that just smells like fresh earth gets me happy, excited because I know that planting season is among us. compost for the past two years and then just let everything you know die over the winter to try to feed the soil and it it looks amazing let's check this out oh, I mean that looks that looks amazing And for those of you who have asked, this is about a quarter of an acre in here. going in a different direction because this field kind of goes like pie shape so we usually till this one going in this direction as opposed to this direction so you can see we're kind of going around this clump of live oak trees and then we started like a different direction for a separate patch if you will than this field up here that goes this way Well, 
we are almost finished. I just had him hit this first spot uh, again, the one he made the first pass because it wasn't very deep. So um, after that, he had adjusted the depth and everything looks great. Got that done down there. So yeah, we are ready to plant. And I will get in here with my earthway seeder and we've got some good things we're gonna plant in here this year. We're gonna do more than just zinnias this year because this, this area is like a customer favorite. Like everybody loves coming in and just, cause you can just walk through the flowers and it makes great um, photo ops and everything. So this is gonna be beautiful. Memorial Day weekend. It's Saturday, May 25th. If you're seeing this video prior to that, um, this will be our third year that we're having it. We're super excited to have people on the farm and, and just, you know, see how we do things and attend some of the workshops. But if not, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is just a process of what we do here on the flower farm in the spring to get things ready for the season. So thanks for watching you guys and remember, bloom where you're planted.